Okay everyone, so in this tutorial we're gonna learn how we can bypass our 3060Ti with the LHR limiter so we can get 43 megahertz per second in hash rate and we're gonna do this in HiveOS using NB minor and also in this video we're gonna overclock our GPU that means it's up to you if you want to overclock it. I take no responsibilities, all right? This is just me showing you what works for me. If you want to try it, it's up to you. So let's do this, my friends. All right, so to do this, just log into your HiveOS account. After that, just choose your mining farm. And after that, we are just gonna go to uh, Flight Sheets right here. Click on that. And now we're gonna choose uh, the coin. I'm gonna choose Ethereum. We're gonna choose our wallet. We're gonna choose our mining pool. I'm using uh, Ethermine. So I'll click on your mining pool. And choose your location. I'm in Europe. And after that, just go down and click on apply. And after that, we're gonna go to minor. In this case, we're gonna choose NB minor to uh, get uh, 43 megahertz per second on our 3060Ti LHR. All right, we're gonna name this to whatever you like. I'm gonna name this to NB minor, like so. After that, just go to the bottom uh, right corner and click on create flight sheet. And now we can see the flight sheet right here in the list. So everything is good. We're gonna go to our worker. Let's click on workers right here and choose your worker. I'm gonna choose this one. All right, so now we can see that I have this uh, uh, GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. And we have no overclocking settings. So we're gonna start the flight sheet and after that we're gonna add some overclocking settings. All right, so let's go to flight sheet, click on that. And uh, we're gonna choose this one, NB minor. Just go and click on this rocket launch. And after that, you will get this pop-up. Let's click on apply. And now we will send this uh, config to our rig so we can start mining with NB minor. Let's go and click on overview. And we are just going to wait until uh, everything is mining. Okay, and it may take some minutes before we get the values. So I have waited some minutes. I'm going to go and update this uh, browser. And now we can see uh, without any overclocking settings, I got 36.02 megahertz per second. And now we're going to go and add some overclocking settings so we can increase this to about... 43 megahertz per second. So just go to the right of your 3060 Ti, click on this uh, overclocking settings icon. So now we're gonna go to core clock. We're gonna leave this at zero. We're gonna go to memory clock. Here we're gonna add 2500. So in iOS, we need to double this number. Uh, if you are overclocking in another software, we would add like 1250, okay? But in iOS, we always double memory clock, all right? After that, we're going to go to fan. If you want to have auto, just add zero like this. In my case, I'm just going to add 80% like so. You can experiment uh, and see how hot your GPU will get. So you can increase this or decrease this. After that, we're going to go to power limit. I'm just going to add 130 like so. When we are satisfied, we're going to go to the bottom right corner and click on apply. And now we're just gonna go and wait a couple of minutes and see uh, how much we will get uh, with this overclocking settings. We can just go up to uh, this one and click on refresh. Now we can see that we have uh, 37.47 megahertz per second. Let's go and refresh this one more time. And now we have 42.97 megahertz per second. So it will uh, be about 43, 42, sometimes 45 megahertz per second. So let's go and refresh it one more time. 
like that. And now we have 43.33 megahertz per second in hash rate when mining uh, Ethereum in my case. Okay everyone, so comment below if this uh, worked out for you. Also let me know how much of a hash rate you can get with these uh, settings and using NBminer on your 3060Ti LHR limiter, alright? Also, subscribe for more of these videos. Have an awesome, awesome day. Take care and bye.